this video is going to be short and sweet i do not have a lot of battery life but i got a package a couple of days ago i've been holding on to it i've tried to do a video a couple of days ago i think it was friday and that was a fiasco on instagram live uh, my son chase i'll tell you about it when we come back stay tuned Big salute to everybody out there who is still supporting your boy, even though I have been absent for a little while. Reason being, my son Chase is here with me on the weekend while I work during the week. Uh, sometimes during the week, I get him because my girlfriend is in school. So whenever he is here with me, there is no video making going on because he will not leave my ring light alone. I tried to do a video Friday night with my girlfriend and he would not leave my ring light alone. He kept bumping into it. He kept moving it around. And then finally he knocked it over in the middle of my live stream. And I just shut everything down. And I said, this is just not going to work. So that's the reason I haven't been putting out any videos. So I apologize to anybody who has sent me a package like this one that came in. Um, but I'm trying to get around to it. So with that being said, I'm glad to be back. Hopefully this video will upload because I also have been having issues once again with storage on my iPhone. I don't know what's going on with it. I cleared out everything. I always delete videos after I upload them to YouTube and I delete all pictures for thumbnails and everything and I just do not have the storage space. I don't know what's going on. So whenever I get that issue taken care of, I'll be back full time doing videos also. And one other thing, I've been working on something secretly. Nobody knows about it, but my girlfriend. I'm thinking about indulging in this a little further. I have already been doing a little bit of research. Um, I have actually been out in the field doing some things and it's kind of looking promising, but I'm not gonna say much more than that because who knows, it may fall through and it might work. So with that being said, let's just get to the package. So I received this message, I believe on Instagram from a company. Uh, they reached out to me and said that they were sending me a little something. And I said, thank you very much. I am much obliged. And I told them that I was going to hold on to this package until I'm able to do a video. So today is Sunday. I'm not sure when you all will see this video. Maybe Sunday, late Sunday night, or maybe Monday sometime. It, who knows? But uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this now. And I've been like super anxious to get into this because the company that this came from, I've dealt with before. And I have seen other posts about one of their fragrances, their new releases, and I don't really take a lot of people's word for fragrances like I used to. Um, I like to do my own homework. I like to do my own research. I try not to uh, listen to a lot of the hype that goes on in Fragcom when it comes to fragrances because in my personal opinion, a lot of these new releases that are coming out or that are out now, all of this stuff smells the same to me personally. Uh, all of it has the same kind of DNA that sweet, bubblegummy, Invictus-y, Aventus kind of vibe or what have you. And I'm a little bit over all of that. So anytime something different pops up on the radar, I'm all for it. So I'm going to go ahead and take off all this plastic before I show you anything okay oh yeah the one I have been seeing and I've been wanting to get my nose on is here so from authenticity I only had like a small decant 
of the original authenticity and i said this way back when it first dropped and i messaged them and i told them that to me personally authenticity is what creed aventus is to the house of creed that's what authenticity is in my personal opinion is to this company it is their creed aventus and i'm not saying that this smells like creed aventus i'm not saying that this smells like creed aventus i'm just saying the aesthetic part of it like what creed aventus means to creed that's what authenticity means to authenticity perfumes so this is the og authenticity i am stoked to have this <sighs> wow i love it i just love it this is all they parfum concentration wow that's some good stuff so big shout out to the good folks at authenticity parfums for sending me this maybe my scent for tomorrow they also sent me another one and i think this is another one of their newer releases i haven't heard many people mention this one i have seen a poster or two of this fragrance on instagram this is romeo blue and i did not look up any notes because as y'all saw i just opened this box so i don't know what the note breakdowns are at least for this one so oh that's nice yeah that's nice um this one it definitely gives off a blue vibe i'm not gonna say it's like blue day chanel or um savage like it's far from it but you do get like this blue kind of I don't know I need to get that time to dry down but I am getting a blue kind of vibe with this one it's not sweet per se it's good it's just not as good as authenticity in my personal opinion now I, like i said i am going to give this time to dry down so there may be a little bit of a time lapse but yeah as far as being compared to authenticity i still think that authenticity is top dog um out of this haul now fresh boss is the best to me that would probably put authenticity at a close number two almost tying number one because i don't want to do a tie but romeo blue is nice it's just not as nice as authenticity the original now the one i really been wanting to get my nose on is the newer release now i'm not sure exactly how new this is but i've been seeing posts on this on instagram and I've so I've been so curious. I love the note of tobacco and fragrances. And this seemed like it would be something I'd be interested in. And being that we're supposed to be in the fall uh, season, this would be perfect for that. But it's still hot here in Georgia. So I don't know. But this one is Tobacco Boss. And I can't, I'm just dying to get this on and see what this smells like. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. It's not off the bat like a strong tobacco note. 
it's like I almost got a little blast of like some cinnamon or something or like it almost smelled like you know how it smells when you walk into your people's house your mom your grandmother or whoever around Christmas time and, and the cookies are baking and you got that sugary kind of uh, sweet I don't know almost gingerbread like vibe you get that's <clears throat> I got a whiff of that in my nose and it went down in my throat okay so that's the kind of vibe I get in the opening that's nice I still would not put this above authenticity or fresh boss but for what this is this is perfect for fall and winter that is nice I can't wait till it gets a little bit colder here we've had some cool mornings but around that 11 11 30 mark 12 o'clock it's blistering hot still so wearing something like this would not be opportune maybe wearing authenticity fresh boss or something like that but this is nice um i would definitely yeah i would put tobacco boss over romeo blue personally i can't speak for anybody else that's just my packing order for what i like uh some people do get butt hurt when you say something against their favorite fragrances but it's nothing personal it's just my personal opinion and my personal taste and i like tobacco not sure what the notes are in this romeo blue but it's a nice fragrance definitely can be worn I'd say any time of the year because I wear fragrances whenever, even though I just said, you know, wearing Tobacco Boss isn't opportune because I've been known to wear some weirder stuff in the heat. But any time of the year uh, for Romeo Blue, more spring and summer, if you ask me, uh, Tobacco Boss. It's not a heavy tobacco fragrance, so I believe I'd be able to pull this off spring early spring when it's still kind of cool fall winter i would probably be able to pull this off the tobacco boss one in the summer but it would have to be like when it's cooler in the evening uh if i'm going to be indoors or something like that like if i'm outside and it's it's hot and i'm sweating i wouldn't want to be wearing tobacco boss so uh great new releases from authenticity perfumes and i am stoked to have the og uh at least a bigger size bottle of it anyway and big shout out to the good folks over at authenticity perfumes i appreciate this greatly that has been my time hopefully you all will stick around for the next video whenever that is Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm out, y'all. Peace. So a bit of an update. Um, I let these fragrances dry down. And I got to say, I first off noticed a common theme between these two fragrances. Now, I believe Fresh Boss also has the same excuse me, common theme that I'm going to mention the note of orange there's the note of orange listed in both of these i went to the website and looked up the notes on these fragrances and i'm gonna tell you something when tobacco boss dried down and i did put that one over this one i love this one much much more than i like the romeo blue and here's why this one has tobacco it has uh, leather I think there's honey amber vanilla like all of those notes right there are enough to captivate me and that is this fragrance is phenomenal I love it 
on the dry down it smells so so good it's not an overpowering fragrance whatsoever um it's not one of those tobacco and leather kind of fragrances that are is going to overpower you uh like maybe a tom ford fragrance even though i love those tom ford fragrances uh they can be a little bit much if you spray too much this one on the other hand i don't think you could very well offend anybody by spraying too much of this one because it's it's just not harsh it's not a heavy smelling fragrance it smells like it's it could be airy a little light but i love it i love it a lot now romeo blue changed on me also and it was giving off a kind of blue type vibe like a light blue almost like at the beach kind of vibe this turned fresh and i don't know whether it's because i looked at the notes that something kicked in and i started smelling that orange note that i was smelling which it gives off the same kind of vibe that you kind of would get from fresh boss if you can see it right there fresh boss gives off that kind of orange fresh um citrusy kind of vibe um this turned out to be nice as well just my personal opinion it's not as nice as fresh boss it'll be under fresh boss um it'll also be under authenticity and tobacco boss so i might as well go ahead and say this would probably be dead last for me unless something changes like i wear it to work and i get a lot of compliments or something like that but right now romeo blue out of the atomizer this smells so good but on my skin it's just It, it almost really has a little bit of a soapy vibe to it also it's not bad it's it's kind of giving me like i said before about three or four times already it's kind of giving me the same vibe that i'm getting from fresh boss even though fresh fresh boss is a little bit stronger than this it's not a bad fragrance whatsoever i keep i can't reiterate that enough it's not bad at all it's just under what I'm into. I love fragrances like Tobacco Boss because it's different than the everyday normal stuff, especially what's coming out nowadays. Uh, this, uh, what is it? This, what do you call it? This robot, uh, robot-like fragrances that these companies keep putting out. Like I'm just over all of that stuff and it's about time some of these companies like Authenticity Perfumes, um come out with fragrances that are different than the norm now i do recommend picking up romeo blue because it is a nice fragrance but if you're looking for something a little bit different and you already have a bunch of freshy type fragrances then just go ahead and get tobacco boss i think that will suffice very nice fragrance if you like tobacco if you like leather you like honey vanilla all that good stuff then this is the way you need to go. So Tobacco Boss is a high, high recommend on my personal list, as well as Authenticity, the OG. If you have not gotten your nose on this particular fragrance, you definitely need to do so. Fantastic smelling fragrance, and I'm glad I finally got another bottle. Now I wish I could have got a bigger size bottle of it like this, but hey, I probably will never go through this in my lifetime unless i choose to start wearing a certain specific fragrance over and over and over this authenticity can very well be a signature scent if you ask me also so now with that being said i am out of here y'all here is definitely to smelling great big shout out to the folks over at authenticity perfumes for this peace